Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we're getting it all in. Yes, it's back! Goat Simulator 3! Hooray! I mean technically 2, but it's called 3. Yes! This was once again developed and published by Coffee Stay North slash Studios and is available for £27.24 slash $29.99 US style and Goat Sim 1 did actually come to Game Pass so hopefully this does too eventually. So what can I say? Deers have tried it, other things have tried it too, but there is nothing quite like the original GOAT. This is just as fun and wacky and another waste of our time since GOAT Simulator 1. They said that, honestly. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is a 100% guide, but split up into various videos, mainly being it's just easier that way. So this particular one is a video detailing and showing you how to get all the missable achievements in the game, of which there are around 26 out of 39. There are other ones for hitting 29 ramps, collecting 200 trinkets, finding 6 tapes, syncing with all goat towers and completing all instincts. Those videos I'll have separate ones for just so it's not confusing. There's also a couple of story related ones which I won't put on here because there's no point. So then my dearest of goatage companions, shall we crack on? <laughs> nah, I won't do goat noises no more. So with that being said, let us begin. Now immediately what we're not going to do is skip the intro for the first achievement of the game. Do not skip the intro. You can by pressing and holding the Y button, but let's not do that. Now, this intro does take... I mean, obviously, this is just one big piss take of a game, so they already know. But the intro does take around four minutes or so. So, I mean, this looks... This should look awfully familiar to you. Uh, it's definitely not a parody of Skyrim or anything like that. But anyway, just enjoy the intro. I've obviously edited down just a little bit, so you're not... Um, you're not following the entire uh, story on this one. But yes, all you got to do is just sit tight, watch the intro. And when we get to uh, Farmer Dan's farm, his incredible voice acting, of course, by the way, uh, the achievement will unlock. And that is our first one of the game. Lovely stuff. I watch the intro is what it's called. Now, just in case you were wondering, um, for the sort of majority of the playthrough, I done it in this particular order. So, when we got to a new area, I ended up doing the goat towers, which again, I got a separate video for. Then, done all the ramps in each area, and then done all the missable achievements. So, that's why it's in this particular order in the video. Of course, refer to the timestamps if you want below. So, come to the bottom left of the Fairweather Ranch. Uh, this is the, our starting area, and then what we need to do is come to this fossil fuel petrol station. You can see this little dragon cart, a dragon van or whatever in front of it. Jump up onto this yellow bad boy, next to the ice bad boy. Jump up, there is a trinket here, which you can grab if you want. But all you got to do is tickle its butthole, and um, yeah, you... <laughs> what that... <laughs> it's oil, okay? Whatever you think, that is just oil, because that's normal. Broski needs to go and see a doctor, okay? By the way, if you are uh, shitting oil, I highly advise going to see a doctor. So next up, then, we're going to just to the left of Yakido Hot Springs. Uh, and just to the right of our starting area, or our first goat castle. And you can see the house just in the distance. That's what we're going to do now. Basically, we're going to smash up some grannies. And, uh, yeah, I tell you what, if any old people have ever pissed you off, this is the perfect thing to do. Get out of my way, you. So there's the house, then. We're going to go to the back, and this granny is going to start smashing sewing balls at you. And she is, I mean, man, she is pissed off. So, <laughs> what you got to do now, the easiest thing to do is when she shoots you, obviously when you're all mashed up on the floor, just start rolling towards the granny, and then press the right trigger to smash a nut in. Go on. Uh, but that is the easiest way to do that. So just roll towards her, smash her nothing in like so. Eventually. Come on, you senna. There we go. Sorry, grand dogs. In fact, you know what? After this, anyway, the um, shutters there will open up. The hatch or whatever, and we can go down. But just for shooting at me, we're just going to throw Granny into the river. So, you drown. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, of course, again, uh, my advice in real life is don't do that to your Granny, okay? Your granny is sacred, unless she pelts you with sewing balls. So as we head down, it's going to start... It's going to act like a... a uh, well, well, this is obviously very, very uh, familiar. Definitely not Doom or anything like that. Uh, there are a couple of these grannies that we're going to smash out, okay? So um, have a look in this room here. And there's going to be another one that we're going to smash out. Uh, I'm not sure if you've got to smash all. We're basically just looking for one particular weapon. 
uh, as we go just opposite. There's another one to the left here, so make sure to smash her up. <laughs> and as we enter here, there's going to be another one. Now, my advice is to leave this one. Basically, we have to get this weapon and shoot a granny with it. Um, if you do what I've done and just kill that granny, that's fine. We can just uh, press start, respawn, and we can just come back to this area. That's all good. Uh, so as we head down this hallway anyway, this is where there's going to be about four grannies in here. So you just need to... <laughs> man, you need to get your granny bashing instincts on. And not even the good granny. Not even the good granny, but... Ooh. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is up that... <laughs> what the hell's up that skirt, man? Did you ever take a shower? Jesus Christ. I can smell what you had for last year's breakfast. Blech. So when the, uh, uh, how can we put this politely, the blue waffled granny of death finally gets mashed up there for the final one, now we can go ahead and grab the Karang, it's called, the Karang, which uh, used to be Karang, but Karang is absolute dog poo these days as a rock channel. So what you can do then is just, if there's no grannies left here, just click the start button and go to respawn, and what you'll do is then, uh, you'll end up re uh, respawning outside, but you will still have the Karang, the Karang. Uh, sorry, I just want to shoot this woman in the face. <laughs> you got smashed up, lady. So, you will respawn outside anyway. So, what we can do is just head back down into the basement. The creepy Granny Blue Waffle Death basement. Um, by the way, if you don't know what a Blue Waffle is, don't Google it, right? Just, just don't, okay? It's better that you don't know. Anyway, once you've got here, press the right bumper to shoot the Granny. And that is how you will unlock the 401 KO achievement. So you're literally just using your carrying car car to knock another carrying down. Granny to knock another granny. And it's always it's always funny when old people fight. <laughs> right, so what you can do now is press the select uh, menu. Go to um, your shoes or what it says feet. And all we're going to do then is unlock the gator. You should. It's, it only costs one mono. And you should have plenty of it by now. Uh, by doing various tasks and things like that, you will always get more mono, uh, but that is how you unlock the What a Waste of Money achievement. Uh, so you literally, again, you're just going in, uh, going into the menu, going into feet, and buying the gator shoes. Right, here we are then, just next to uh, the chicken egg farm. So what we need to do, when we see the chicken egg farm, we're going to go around to the right, we need to ring the bell, and we need to stay in, this, in the middle of this bowl. Now, a lot of the times, this may happen, Ah, screw you, fat chicken. Uh, it literally had, uh, I think it took about 10 or 11 attempts for me. But just keep ringing the bell. Try and get in the middle as close as you can to the bell. He will devour you deadness. And, uh, well, <laughs> that's how you become an egg, apparently. All right. So, with that one done, we got mashed up. Lovely. Yeah. So, next up, then, we are going back to the fossil fuel uh, in the sort of bottom left-hand corner of the map. Or, apparently, I'm going absolutely nuts right now. Uh, but <laughs> it's the needle in a crate, uh, needle in a crate stack. Um, that, that That's just the event that we can do later on. But what we need to do is grab a car and go in, drive, just drive into the garage and then honk by pressing the left stick. So, once you... Uh, press the left stick, a uh, secret tunnel will come out. You actually have to go in it for the achievement to unlock, so if somehow that your car gets stuck exactly like mine, jump out by pressing the Y button, of course, and once you're in, you will get the car cave achievement. Deliciousness. And you can go in here to get the Ferrari jacket, and it's got a f number 55, like Carlos Sainz Jr. as well. Leg end. Right, we're going for the way... Uh, no, in fact, we're going for the first... Uh, 5G tower number. So there are three. So at the right at the very bottom of the map, then. This is where we start, and as I hilariously get run over. So there are three 5G towers that we need for an achievement later on. So slam this electric first. Jump up to this pole on the right. Jump up. Now you've got to be quick. The electric does run out. So uh, now you might as well just wait here until the electric on your cell runs out, because as you can see, I was a bit too late. I thought I could have grabbed that one. So. <clears throat> So, I, I do believe one uh, when the two pylons are connected, they stay connected. But if you don't connect them in time, they do run out as well. So, you've got to be kind of quick with this one. Anyway, grab electric from the third one, jump over, 
jump over to the third one, and that is the uh, first 5G tower, which hilariously uh, just takes the piss out of every conspiracy theorist right there. And I'm not getting into it, so argue amongst yourselves in the comments. So that's the first out of three anyway, so we'll be back to that later. So in the top right-hand corner, uh, we've seen Pool Party there, right in the top right corner of the farm ranch, or the featherweight ranch, whatever the hell it is. Uh, this is where the second 5G upgrade is. Uh, right next to the hoofball field, it's called. So go in, jump up onto this yellow platform, and you can see the electrician getting hilariously electrocuted. That probably doesn't help you. So uh, grind up by pressing the white button, jump over here. You've got to jump over there. And jump again here, and grind up. Keep grinding, and then make a jump right at the very end, right there. Electrocute yourself uh, basically to death. And that is how you get the second 5G tower. I do apologize if this is going quite quick, by the way. Feel free to slow the video down if I am going a little bit too quick. Apologies if that is the case. So next up then, now we're getting the where is it. So it's just to the right of Sverige and the Goat Tower. Now we're in two suburbsville, in fact. Again, I've got a separate video for all the Goat Towers and all the collectibles and things. So... Uh, into this little housing area, you can see this little water with a pipe in it. So just head through the pipe. And if we slightly look to our right, what you're going to see is definitely, well, we're going we're gonna to call him dollar-wise or pound-wise. Uh, he's definitely not penny-wise. But this is how you get the where is it achievement and you get some more monies for that as well. So we found the clown so you can headbutt him and get some gear as well. The paper hat, which again definitely does not scream, uh, it, it screams IT the clown. So next up, we go into the Pointy Foods factory here. Again, on the right-hand side in Suburbsville. And what we need to do is basically turn ourselves into a banana. But this is going to take a little bit of a puzzle and a few things to do. So as we jump over the main sort of exit, head past the banana -rana -mana vans. And over, over the hill we go. Whoop! Don't go too far, though. As you can see, there's this little uh, sort of x-ray machine looking thing. So we're going to climb up. Don't slip on the bananas, and we've basically got to do this event. So grab this um, uh, treadmill. No, what is it? Conveyor belt, sorry. So grab the first one, put it in. The second one is going to be uh, just in the same room, just a little bit further down. There it is. So grab that one and put it in where the whiteness is going. Now, the other three are outside. So uh, what we're going to do first is head to the left-hand side door. So there is the uh, conveyor belt. So we're going to the left-hand side door first. Press the right trigger there to nut it open. Because you are a nutballing king. And uh, the first one, or the next one, sorry, is going to be directly in front of us as you head but that guy's nuts off. So lick it. Of course, with the X button, you're probably uh, well aware of that by now. And pop this one in. Go back out to the same door that you came. Only this time, we're going to be turning to the right. So turn to the right. And basically, where we came up through this little part earlier on, this is where we can now grab this uh, next conveyor belt. So bring it around, bring it around town, bring it around town, oh yeah, pop that one in, and we've only got one more left to get, so now we've got to go, from where we're standing right now, go to the right, to go out to the other exit, again, nut it the hell open, and straight in front of us, just over this fence right here, is the fifth and final one, so lick it, lick it out, do whatever you got, do whatever you got to do to lick it. But, uh, you know, you can't suck it, you can only lick it, which is a shame for a lot of people I know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, pop this one in, and then what we're going to do is just wait for just a moment. Oh, sorry, pal, I, I actually didn't mean to do that this time, for once. So we're just going to wait for a moment. A couple of, a couple of humans are going to turn into bananas, because I really would like to know what the developers were on when they made the first Goat Simulator and this one. I want some too. So when it's free, jump up, you will turn into a banana. Now you have to lick a full banana. It cannot be a banana peel. So make sure that you have found a full banana. Hey, you son of a bit. Jesus. But yes, anyway, it does have to be a full banana, not a banana peel. Have that up, your nana's banana, you son of a... Right, anyway. So on to the next one then. What we're doing is just above the pointy foods factory right there. Sort of just to the top right of that. Uh, we're going for the beauty, mindfulness, and meditation now. So, again, just above that, there is going to be this yoga shop. So, again, sort of just to the top right of where the Pointy Food Factory is. Doesn't matter what you are. You could be a banana. You could be a goat. You can be anything you want. 
But all you gotta do is just sit on the mat. You don't have to interact with anything. Just sit here. Mm, the problem is, what you're gonna have to do is wait literally about four or five minutes. Um, so just put your controller down, have a chill out. Um, because yeah, like I said, this takes four or five minutes automatically. You don't have to do anything. But this is how you get the beautiful mindfulness and meditation. And you know, the, the hippie yoga dude will always be like, Oh, your desire to reach into my butt is uh, grand. Uh, every yoga hippie dude is a perv, okay? That's just how it is. I didn't make the rules. I merely wrote them up and uh, wrote them down. So, <laughs> that uh, gets you a new gear as well as the uh, achievement. So that's all good. Right. Next up then, you need to have the Mornwood um, Goat Tower unlocked so you can see the map. So when you have that unlocked, what you need to do is come to uh, back to the starting area, just underneath the Yakido Hot Springs, and you can find, once again, another familiar face in this part of the area. Again, just underneath the Yakido Hot Springs. So this definitely does not look like Philbo Baggins, old Dildo Ball Baggins. <laughs> Dildo Ball Baggins. Yeah, Bilbo Baggins, Dildo Bulba. Yeah, you get the joke. That's funny stuff. So, Dildo Bilbo. Grab the ring from inside here. And then what we can do is, like I said, you've got to have the uh, Mornwood Goat Tower unlocked. So you can see exactly what you're doing. Um, so head up here. There we go then. And we need to go to this sort of volcanic area. You can obviously... It's a lot of the rings reference, of course it is. You know exactly what it is. Even if you don't know it, even if you don't know or haven't seen Lord of the Rings, you know. So, head down to the volcano. There it is, like I said. So, again, you've got to have the Mornwood. We're getting into Mornwood territory now, so the sort of third area of the game. So, what we can do, we're going to drop down. Now, you think it would just be easier to drop straight into the volcano, but that is not how this goes. What you're supposed to do is nip onto the rock, and there's going to be a little bit of a cave. <coughs> Yes, a cave. Um, just off to basically just go ahead and f just follow the stones right here. It's what I'm trying to do, but uh, it's not going awfully too well. So there's the cave then. It's just sort of to the right of uh, where we were just bouncing. I I'm actually not trying to be a douche, jumpy douche now. Right, um, I'm just going to go ahead and... <laughs> Give me it. Sorry, zip a bear. And then we can just simply drop in... <clears throat> Excuse me, by the way, I do have a, uh, I am feeling a bit poorly while recording this, if you can't tell in my voice. But that is how you get the Into the Matrix achievement. So that is all done. Right, so next up then, what we need is the downtown area um, uh, sorted out. So you need to get the downtown uh, goat tower complete. And then when that is done, come to San Agora Zoo. And basically what we have to do is do a little event before we can do the achievement. So what we need to do then is follow the bits of poops. Uh, so from the zoo, uh, you're basically just going straight, just going up this grassy hill here, over to the right. Keep climbing, keep climbing, and you can obviously see this big ladder. I am a naked banana thing, apparently. Again, definitely not dildo ball baggins, that is not me. With a big helmet on my head. <laughs> Unintentional. Anyway, here is Rosie. So we're going to smash uh, the poacher, square in the nuts. And just lick Rosie. Lick her good. Make sure she's all clean down there, huh? And then we can just drop down. And basically, um, from where we started, Rosie's pen is just behind us. Now, there is a reason we have to do this. Um, to basically uh, open up the way, even though I still use the goat. But, but anyway, so put Rosie down. Eventually, she is... There's her pen, just to the right here. So, once that's complete, now we are the Rhino ourselves. So, that is fantastic. Angry Goat. Tidy. That's exactly... That's all we need. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's big. Oh, my God. Imagine seeing a Rhino trifle like that with a helmet on and a... You know... Sauron just chilling on his back. Jesus Christ. Right, anyway. Where we need to go now is a little bit into the downtown main area. So, head up. And it is going to be in these two little buildings. So, just... Sort of just on the outside, if it uh, as it were. Uh, I'll show you exactly where we're going now. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, there it is. So the two buildings sort of just outside the uh, main downtown area. Yep, there we go. 
So what we can do? Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Somebody stole my police car. Damn it! D do you not like? Do you not like the rhino in the police car? No. Right. Anyway, grab any car you want. Or, of course, if you've got the Daredevil's helmet from doing all 29 ramps, you can literally fly there just by pressing the right bumper, which I highly advise doing. Which is, like I said, by the way, that is exactly why I've done the 29 ramps first. So every new area that I went into, I make sure to do all the ramps to get the Daredevil helmet. So you can just fly around the map instead of doing all this. But anyway, drop down here then. Now, what you can, what you're supposed to do now is just basically walk into the, uh, walk into the shutter as the Rhino to open it up. And all you got to do then is just touch the boulder. But for whatever particular reason, I decided to be the goat and let the boulder come to me. <laughs> so that is what happened. The boulder is in here. And there it is. So it just, because I licked it, that's what you got to do. So open it up as the rhino. And as the goat, lick it. There is also a trinket in there as well. But you're supposed to lick it with the goat. And that is how you get that achievement. Right. Next up then, once again in the downtown area, just underneath... Coscon, the Coscon, and again, that's just to the left of the main downtown area. What we're going to do is basically lick a giant donut, pure Homer Simpson, fat, greedy, sexy style. So, uh, it's just by the San Agora shop here. There it is, the golden donut. Mm, golden donut. Oh. Knock it down, give it a lick, and for some reason, it turns into a croissant. And that gives you the French Fiker, or French Picker achievement. Job done. Right. Next up then, we are getting, we are getting dolled up, boys. Uh, so, into the sort of main area here, just where I put myself on the map, we need to go into the store called Lux. Lux at me, I am posher than you. Go straight into the fitting room to get the suit. Now, you need this one in order to get the next achievement. If you don't, you cannot get into club, and you just stop kicking me. Anyway, and then you cannot get in. Anyway. Just above, on the sort of top main road right here, uh, we need to go into the port San Angora. And on top of all these containers, and shipping containers, uh, keep climbing up, keep climbing up. Okay, or just go straight through. And then keep climbing up. But you're going to see this one that says Club Mohair on it. Now, what you can do then is just simply wait here. As long as you've got the suit on, as long as you've got the suit on, it doesn't matter what else you've got, um, you will get in. Now, all you've got to do then is follow the lights. So, uh, it may seem random, but it's actually not. You've got to follow the lights first. And then follow this big X. So, go right here. And uh, go right here at the bush. Jump over and go through the archway. Now, we are going to go to the left. Woke. Yeah, woke, bro. Everything's woke because I'm a gammon. Anyway, follow the party banners. And this is where the club is. Job done. You get the Club Mohair achievement. Again, there is another trinket and a gear in here that we're going to grab as well. So, and, yep, banging music. This is pure goat music. Pure Max Verstappen beating Lewis Hamilton in Abu Dhabi 2021. Oh, ho, ho. right. Next up, you need to have the Gothenburg Tower unlocked and come to the very top left-hand corner of the map in Dystopia. This is the final 5G tower. So, climb up, grab the electrics, jump on the yellow tarpin or whatever that is. Jump straight up to get this first bit of electric. Uh, wait here. We might as well just wait here for the moment as we wait for our electricity. Conicosicity. As soon as we uh, it runs out, grab it again. Jump over to the next tarpaulin thing just above you. And drop down, of course. There it is. Just about got that. Um, now, you can jump to the next one. You should have enough time there to make it straight in front of you. And that is the final 5G tower. But, uh, now what this does is get you the Welcome to Earth achievement. So, if you do another the 3G towers, and the 5G towers anyway, mm, seems a little crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, you will get the Welcome to Earth achievement, but what we need to do now is head to that main skyscraper for another achievement, for the Reach the Stratosphere achievement. So, where we are going to do then, what we're going to do is head downtown... Once again, bro. By the way, at this point, if you are at this point in the map, the top left-hand corner, you should only have one more goat tower left to grab. And there is a couple of a uh, couple of more teams to do that, uh, to do with that final goat tower. So head downtown, and then if we look slightly to our right, only slightly, there you can see big chunky chungus malungus UFO. 
So what you need to do then is uh, just keep heading towards that tower. Now, of course, I do have the Daredevil helmet. Like I said, um, I got this after getting, I think it was like 23 ramps out of the 29. Uh, but it does come in handy, so you can just keep... Obviously, I'm just showing you the um, way to go if you don't have a Daredevil helmet. It would be pretty unfair of me to show it, me just flying up into the air. But if you do have it, you can simply fly up into the air if you want. Uh, otherwise, what, what we're doing then is just the building to the sort of well, left of where we are now. There's going to be this little jumpy boy. Left of the main skyscraper is what I was going to say. So we're going to jump up here just a couple of times. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I guess we'll try one more jump. Yep. Okay, there we go. So jump up onto the fans. Don't uh, hit those particular fans. They will knock you out for six. And then what we're going to do then is just jump immediately over. Again, there may be an easier way. You'll probably, you may find an easier way to get this up. Especially if you've got the Daredevil helmet where you can just literally fly your way up. Maybe easier for you that way. Or if you grab the jetpack as well. But I'm just showing you this way anyway. So going, uh, jump over here. Make sure to jump over here. Jump into the window washy. Oh, what a shot, boys. Anyway, uh, hit the lever when you get into this part. Sorry, I was very impressed with uh, her not dying. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, never mind. We've left her floating in midair. <clears throat> well, sorry about that, love. Uh, I guess we'll, um, we'll come back for you later. Right. So as soon as it stops, uh, sort of to the left. That's where we're going. So jump down. Again, it starts to get a bit nervy now with the higher you get because it'll piss you off if you fall. Jump onto the old bouncy, bouncy, bouncy box. <coughs> Excuse me. And jump up onto the net. We are almost there now, finally. Uh, jump up onto the fan. And now I can, I think, you should be able to make the... Um, oh, you might just be a little bit off. You may be able to run up the building and then jump on it. But if not, that's fine. What we do is just jump over to the left. Jump across, of course. Obviously, try not uh, make sure to not fall down. Jump over again the gap. Fanny fan fans your way up. Ah, uh, we'll just try that one again. There we go. So you should make this one. Clamber up. <clears throat> now, we are actually almost there, I promise. Again, just be very, very careful here and make sure not to fall down. Now, sprint wall up. Sprint wall up again. Climb up the ladder. Sprint wall up one more bloody time or bounce up. And finally, now we turn into the smaller UFO. So what you got to do then is just keep heading up. You can have a little move around, uh, shoot stuff, beam some stuff, move some stuff. But if you just want the reach the strats for your achievement, just head, keep heading up until the achievement unlocks. Man, that took quite a while. And that one is done. So from here, what we're going to do is head to Capricabana Beach, which is in uh, Goat Bay or Goatopia, wherever it is. All we got to do is head onto the beach, press the left button on the D-pad to do slow-mo. You can either bar, move around, but it should unlock immediately. I'm going for the ultimate. <laughs> oh, this game is so much fun. And there is nothing better than watching people get smashed up in slow-mo. Right, so from the left, uh, on the right-hand side, uh, or basically of Capricorna Beach, again in Goatopia, or Goatbonia, or whatever the hell we are, just off into the water right there, is going to be a buoy. B-O-I. Bio, so all you got to do then is simply head for the buoy. The buoy. The boy. Jump up on it. And Chunky Fat Whale, massive unbrushed teeth, will get us, uh, well, he'll munch us up. That'll get us the real boy achievement. If you want to get out of here, just, you'll have to jump up, tickle the whale's uvula three times, and that is how you get up. There it is, just in the distance there. So, next up then, what we're going to do is go to the uh, Suburbsville. Now, the reason I didn't get this achievement earlier is because I had to play the game a bit more, uh, progress a little bit more to get more uh, emotes and how you do that is 
by pressing right on the D-pad. So, you see in the shrink's office, we need uh, the shrink sign. So, we need to go into the house. There will be a shrink here, by the way. So, just jump on the settee. Uh, press right on the D-pad. Get the sit down option. Press the A button and then just press the B button. Yeah, I think you can either hold it or continue to just spam it, whichever one is all good. And to get the achievement, all you got to do is just simply lick the tiny, tiny house. The shrink, of course, will be pissed off because you've just built him a Ned Flanders house. The house that love built. And that one will be done. A center for ants. <laughs> so that one's all good. Uh, but again, you may have to progress a little bit if you don't have all the emotes. That is why I got it a little bit later on. So heading up back to Goat Bonia, or whatever we are. Just to the sort of top right hand corner here, just underneath the head splat event. Well, thank you for running me over. Right underneath this Duncan's, <laughs> Duncan's Donuts factory. And some artists right there. What I'm going to do is head to the right side of this factory. And keep having a look down at the water. You can see two fires or two torches burning. We're going to drop down. Press right in the D-pad to go back into your emotes. And we're going to pick the top option to bow. So bow, bow, bow. How do you like it? How do you like it? Bow, bow, bow. And this is how you simply get the black market achievement. So that is job done. Up the bar. Well, nothing's up there. Right. Next up then. What you need to do is uh, get the seventh goat tower complete on the uh, Libertarian Island. The Statue of Libertarian. Uh, so that will obviously get you synchronization complete achievement. <clears throat> Uh, again, which will be in a separate video. So, uh, have a look at the golden statue. Just to the left of this golden statue is the Fashionista gear. This is important. This is what we need for the Croc Squatch achievement that we are going for right now. And what we're going to do then is uh, we basically have to help Bigfoot. Now, go down to uh, Mornwood Falls. The Mornwood Falls Goat Tower. And then what we need to do then is just find the event. So, the event should be here for you, uh, Bigfoot sighted. So there it is, just to the right on the map. So, simply head down. And it genuinely does look like you've got a dildo ball baggins on your back, doesn't it? Oh, Jesus, what the, what the developers thinking? <laughs> right, anyway, so you can see this sign. So from this cage, what we need to do is turn left. And we're going to make another sharp left. Just past these people, just past these sort of signs on the tree here. Turn left now. And you can see the biggest footed person on the planet. Now that is just, mate, that's just not big feet. That's just, that's a disease you've got. You need to go to El Doctoroni's. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick up old Bigfoot, old Chunky Funkers, and head back towards the cage. So heading down onto the main path, turning right, of course, and into the cage. That will complete the event, by the way. And then what we can do here is simply press the right bumper a couple of times until Bigfoot has some shoes on her feet. And that is how you will get the, <laughs> the Homo sapiens hilarious. Anyway, there she goes. Now she got some comfy Crocs on. That's, that's good. They are massive bigger than my goddamn head. Anyway, that's how you get the Croc Squatch achievement there. Right, next up, we're going to get the Redacted achievement. Now, again, you may have to progress a little bit further to grab this. But what you need to do is get the banana, tur uh, turn the banana costume on. So what we need is two eggplant, two separate eggplant um, things. So you need to make sure that you are a banana. Head down on head to find the eggplant. So this is only an egg, uh, only an head. And again, you will have to progress a little bit uh, for it to unlock. Then go down to fur, unlock the eggplant, the next eggplant, the body. So you've got the eggplant head, the eggplant body, and that is how you get the redacted achievement. Right, next up then, we will be going for the streaking achievement. And again, this is one we couldn't get earlier because we had to progress the game in order to get the birthday suit to unlock. Uh, so sometimes it'll be in the featured. There it is. Otherwise, I think you can find it in fur. Jesus Christ, that is one handsomely disgusting looking goat. Um... <clears throat> So, yes, if it's not in Featured, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it in... Uh, no, I think you'll be able to find it in... Yes, go Fur. I was right, Fur. So, when you've got that one, what we need to do then is head to Suburbsville, just to the top right of the pool party, ju and just to the left of the 5G tower. That is where the hoofball, uh, the hoofball field is. We don't actually have to play hoofball. We can simply, as long as you're in your birthday suit, all naked, all disgusting... 
snoop on, and you'll get the streaking achievement that way. Job done. So then, we are going to grab the next and last missable achievement, uh, and we need to go to the Statue of Libertarian. Uh, we need to go to the Goat Tower and put the waypoint just to the bottom right of the question mark right there. Um, by the way, there is another one missable achievement, and that is for redecorating the castle at the very end of the game, which I don't show you because uh, that's just easy enough anyway. It's just literally for redecorating. But anyway, for this one, we're just going to head on to the rocky point of Rockness Rockages. Keep on going, keep on going, and when we get to this area here with the block, what you're going to do is bar by pressing the B button at this uh, sort of rock just chilling on its own in the middle. That is going to open up the way, and that, and then all you have to do is go down towards the human, and the achievement San Angora Become Human Achievement will unlock. So, there we go then guys and gals, thank you so so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the game so far. I hope this Missable Achievement Guide has helped as well, as have the others. A uh, big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so, so much again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next Goat Sim Guide. A big love and Jesus Christ, what are those foots? <laughs>